Hey, how's it going? This is Dave Raposa. <clears throat> Hopefully going to show you how I go from a grayscale image to a color image. Uh, it's relatively easy. First things first is I'll take an image I already have and I'll desaturate it and I usually fill in the whole thing uh, with a sort of basic tone for an atmosphere like I use a yellow or blue or a green or whatever, just like a grayish green, fill it in on a color layer and turn the opacity on that layer down to 20, 27% or something like that to give it a basic, to give it a mood. Um, and this is mainly for uh, a sketch, like a client reference, because this isn't for a finished image. I, I'll go in afterwards and paint on top of it. So right now I'm just showing you what I've already done. I've done a uh, I've done two different sets and then I'm going to do one completely new one. So right now I'm just showing you that how I went about the skin. I filled it in, you know, I, I took a hard brush, I filled in the whole area with a basic blue tone for the skin and I turned the opacity down on the layer down to like 17% or something like that. And then I go in on another color layer and I start to bring out the uh, blood you know, like the uh, bloody areas on the face, like the infected looking areas. And I use a soft round brush for that at 10% opacity. And again, that's on a color layer. And then I use adjustment layers to quickly adjust my tones, uh, bring like some, you know, unity to the color scheme. So. I use color balance and, you know, bring more blue into the skin, blue into the background. And then I use a selective color to change the overall color scheme, so I add more yellow to it, which is a uh, um, which was basically the background and when I bring when I bring the selective color in, it sort of uh adds to that. So then I'm showing you again on a, another set I've already done. And this was a blue background, reddish, orange tone skin, you know, and then the blood around the eyes and whatnot. So now I'm starting a whole new one. So I'm going to use a green background, and I'm going to fill in the whole layer. I'm going to turn the opacity down to 20, around 20%, 22%. So, make another color layer. In this one, I'm going to use a hard brush, like I said before, to fill in the skin. So, I'm going to choose a uh, dull orange, and at a 100% opacity brush, I'm just going to fill in the whole thing. I, I'm just doing that because, you know, like I was saying, it's just for a basic showing of the show to the client that. You know, I could do this with the character, I could use this color scheme in the image, or I could use this, or whatever. I mean, it won't come out as good if you don't have good values in your sketch, though. So, if you do have trouble with this, that's probably the reason. And that's something to work at, but, yeah, right now I'm just filling it in. <clears throat> and I'm going to use a soft round brush to erase out after I turn the opacity down in the layer. So I just turn the opacity down on that layer to 21%, so it looks more like a skin tone. Now I'm using the soft round with a 10%, and this is an eraser. And I'm erasing out the edges to uh, blend it with the background color some more. And now I'm going to use another color layer. I'm going to zoom in with a soft round at 10% opacity. And I'm going to start adding the uh, red around the eyes, red around the sores on her face, her nose, her cheeks, the open wounds in her lips. And, you know, this is just a quick way to bring it all together and show the client or yourself just what it would look like quickly without having to repaint everything. Because I, I have a real, generally I have a bad eye for a color when I'm going like straight on into a painting. I go through so many different layer layer styles like color, multiply, overlay, 
for a while it was just sort of a mess, but I think I kind of have a method now. So anyways, I'm opening up an overlay layer now, and I'm using a orange to put into the skin and around the blood and whatnot to hopefully bring the colors together more. I'm going to turn the opacity down to 57%, and now I'm going to make an adjustment layer, color balance, to you know, hopefully bring the colors together like I've been saying, make it all fit. And, you know, this isn't that successful right now, but this is just a quick example of how you can do it. Again, it's pretty easy once you have the grayscale done, but, you know, like I was saying, if you don't have good values, it isn't going to come out that great. It won't, it won't read as well. So now I'm adjusting the hue. You know, I didn't really need to adjust the hue, but, you know, that's what adjustment layers are for. You can play with them. You can turn the actual adjustment layer opacity up and down, and, you know, it works good. So, yeah, these are the other ones I've already done. I think they worked a lot better, but there you go. It's a quick and easy way to make some minor changes to your work, and I hope you learned something.